Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, oh, my viewers and subscribers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, oh, my family members, commentators, all who likes uh, Okute Daily Talk. Oh, I bless you all. Oh. Make on a see what in the happen. Oh. Biafra keep losing. They are prominent men. As I'm talking to you now, we just lost a prominent seven pro uh, prominent uh, guys. Uh, where to do at a pro productive age and also people who will stand for this Biafra struggle each time if there's anything that calls for actions. Gunmen storm an Ambara nightclub and kill seven people and injured many. Who are these gunmen and where are they from? If I may ask, I thought we, they have a operation lockdown in, um, in an Ambara state from 4th to 6th and uh, still counting. Uh, according to Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic Government in exile, Simon Ekban Joko. So, where were our men? Where are our gallant men? Where are our Biafran like militant fighters that keep on uh, um, uh, showing us uh, some videos inside Bush? I beg you, I've been inside Bush on the guide or on the guide human being because I can't understand why we will have all these forces in place and we still have intruders intruding into our land invading our land invading our night clubs this is why the 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 the, the night activities in the southeastern part of the country have disappeared how can people go to club they don't go there to do anything just go there to enjoy themselves after the the, the day, day activities they went there to relax their minds and their head at least uh to refresh for the next uh, challenge uh, the next day then the government will go there and uh, be killing them Yet we have a government in place, government, uh, Biafra government uh, or Biafra Republic government in exile, who keeps on telling us that uh, the Nigerian government and the the, the so-called um, um, what do they call it, the so-called uh, bandits are collecting water water. Now we are the one that is receiving that water water in returns. What is really happening? At least we need more explanation from Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, and all his cabinets who keep on uh, one way or the other telling us uh, stories. Of uh, what uh, the achievements of all the Biafran uh, resistance fighters, the Biafran Liberation Armies, and the rest of them. According to them, uh, according to the news I gave earlier, he said uh, the Biafran uh, resistance fighters have given water water to Soludo's army in Umu, 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 Odumegu here, Odumegu state. And I asked uh, Abeg, where are these people when our gallant men are being killed? Listen, USB and USA, there's no any difference. In USA, it is very, very hard for them to lose a single soul. While in our own USB, United States of Biafra, we keep on losing souls every now and then, even when we have government in place. Please, this issue needs to be addressed. We are waiting to hear from the Simon Epa and Joko regarding this very issue. Please, if you get this message, you need to like, share, comment. Because this one now will not be heavily armed uh, Biafra army. Give water, water. No. Now, heavily armed gunmen, which I'm suspecting must be Nigerian police, um, uh, DSS, and the rest of because they are the unknown gunmen we have in the southeast. They are the one that is giving us water, water now. Waiting to happen, Simon Epa. That is my question. And anyone who have answers, please drop it at the comment section. Be what? Be civic in your approach. If you talk anyhow, I will block you. As simple as that. I don't even send you. An attack in a nightclub uh, in Oba, the then minister to local government area of Anambra State, has left at least seven people dead and several others injured. The incident happened at Sports Nightclub in a semi urban town about 10 kilometers to the commercial city of Onisha. Details of the incident are still sketchy, although it was gathered that the assailant allegedly came to kidnap the owner of the, of the club, who was at the club at the time of the incident, but were resisted by security men on, the, on duty. The government were said to have started shooting sporadically, killing some people in the process. One of the victims was beheaded by the assailants. The Anambra State Police Public Relations Officer, PPRO DSP, Tochui Kenga, has confirmed the incident. I hope I'm not waiting that, uh, not what I'm thinking, because tomorrow time now they will tell you they are Eastern Security Network and their friends, because that is what Tochui Kenga is good, is good in doing. Him and uh, Suludo are the problem we are having, their friends are having in that, uh, in that state called uh, Anambra. The Kenga said, yes, the incident happened, our men were alerted, and they quickly moved to the scene of the incident. 
but the government has already fled. Where are, are your men? There's no any security in place, no any patrol vehicles. But you people are busy mounting roadblocks in the southeast. Where you, your men were alerted because they are very busy sleeping or very busy looking for Yahoo men that are not existed. Our men have recorded the body, okay, recovered the bodies of the vigilante operatives who were fatally wounded, while others sustained various degrees of injuries. We have also fully deployed our men to Oba, and the operation is ongoing so far. No arrests have been made. It was gathered that the government arrived at the nightclub claiming that they wanted to kidnap the club owner, but security men resisted them. Without any resistance from the vigilante operatives, the government started shooting to radically killing many people in the process. They also beheaded one of the security men who resisted them from taking the owner of the club. In another development, our brother Victor Osimehe won the CAF, Confederation of African uh, Foot Player of the Year, Footballer of the Year. So this one goes to the Nigerians and the sports uh, 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 people. Uh, Osimehe, don't, don't forget to this uh, uh, progress and this uh, news. Supposed to be for Biafran because Osimehe is never a Nigerian, but from the old eastern uh, part of the country. So this one have made the Biafrans proud. We are proud of you, son. Give or keep going higher, and more of this coming your way. If you continue the way you are trading, leave controversy alone. That is the only advice I can give to you. This one is under sports. Super Eagles and Napoli forward. Victor Osimehe has been crowned. Uh, crowned uh, the 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 twenty twenty three calf uh, African Player of the Year. Get the point now, eh? Okay, oh. Super Eagles and Napoli forward, Victor Simere. Okay, oh. He has been crowned and he remains the African best player. Osimere becomes the first Nigerian to win the coveted prize since Juan Kokano won it in 1999. The 24 year old beat Liverpool's and the Egypt uh, Mohamed Salah and PSD and Morocco's Ashraf uh, Hakim to the crown. Osimere had a remarkable 2020 2022 20, 20, season, helping the but no boy win the Serie A title for the first time after over three decades. He scored 26 league goals and 31 in all competitions to win the Golden Boot and emerge the Serie A player of the season. Osimehe also smashed several records, including the long standing one by Liberia's President George Way, to become the African with the most goals in Italian top flight. At the 2020 Ballon d'Or, the Napoli forward was ranked 8th best player in the world, ahead of the likes of Luka Modric, fellow African Mohamed Salah, and Bernardo Silva of uh, uh, Manchester City. All the 2023 CAF Awards winners that coming to the Biafra land. Nigeria icon Oshola secured the CAF Women's Player of the Year for a record six times. Oshola happens to be from the Yoruba or Odudua nation. The attacker's dominance continued as she inspired Barcelona to Champions League glory, finishing as the club's top scorer with 27 goals across all competitions. Morocco's Walid Regrigo was crowned Cow's best coach of the year in the men's category, recognized for guiding the Atlas Lions to a historic World Cup semi-final run in Qatar. South Africa's Desire Eli secured the best coach award in the women's category for her outstanding work with uh, Bayana Bayana. This was Ellis' record fourth award in the category, which she has won consistently since 2018. The CAF Interclub South Africa and her Ellis Percy Tao won the CAF Interclub Player of the Year. Senegal's Lamene Kamara, the 19 year old FC Metes forward, clinched the CAF Young Player of the Year award, making his Meta meteoric rise in African football. Moroccan prodigy Nasrin uh, Chad won the inaugural CAF uh, um, Young Players of the Year award. Going forward, Morocco won the men's national team award following their performance at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar 2022, while Nigeria won the women's national team of the year award. Egyptian giants are highly claimed the, the male club of the year award with the women's awards going to South African side Memolodi Sundowns. South Africa so, South Africa Thank you so much. South Africa dominated the continent's best 
11 players in the women's category while two members of Morocco's World Cup semi-final team were included in the male version. The ultimate winners of the each category were decided through a voting process involving a panel comprising CAF technical committee, head coaches, national team captains, and media professionals, according to Vanguard newspapers. Anyway, my people, I don't hear them more, and here we will take a bad break. And I even forgot to mention, I think uh, the writer forgot to mention that uh, Nadozie won the best African uh, goalkeeper of the year. Uh, the same way um, uh, Osime and Oshola uh, won their own. So please, right on next time, try to include everybody or carry everybody along. Have a nice day. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back again with another blockbuster. Have a nice day. Game is